So something that has been a big topic of discussion recently in the Apex community is the matchmaking. Now I've made several videos in the past talking about my opinions on matchmaking, on skill based matchmaking, on the type of matchmaking that Respawn uses and I always tend to see multiple you know opinions in the comment section. Some people seem to hate the matchmaking that Apex currently has and some people just love it and don't care. Well I recently came across a reddit post and it said Apex matchmaking is just depressing and I had to read through this because I I kind of honestly agree with most of what this you know this reddit user said many pros content creators even casual players seem to have the same issues right now with the matchmaking in apex legends so i'll read this post for you guys real quick and i'll give you guys you know my thoughts as well as what some pros had to say what some big personalities in the community had to say as well and i also want to describe the matchmaking system that apex uses for you guys because many people don't know that respawn created their very own matchmaking system it isn't created by ea respawn has their very own system for apex and when you actually dig deep into it, it's a very interesting system and algorithm that Respawn uses. So real quick here is what the post on Reddit says. Why is it you have to have about 15 games of absolutely getting stumped to have one good game? Back in season 4 or 5, the argument was always that the player base isn't huge. It's not one of the biggest online games in the world. What's the excuse now? With the latest rank split, we now notice that these high level players are lower than 3%, combined from high diamond to pred. How are they in every single lobby? I quit the game back in season 9 when I got fed up of being free food for these players, returned this season and I am currently on 50 games and I count in one hand how many good games I've had. And the more you play this game, the more you realize it's not SBMM, it's actually form beast. So your form at the start of the day is zero. You play a couple of games and your form will be built around how long you last on your kills. If you don't believe that, jump straight out of the ship to your death a dozen times and then see your matchmaking. Which is why this matchmaking is brutal. If you don't just W key everything and try to just experience the game, your form gets higher and higher as by the first circle there's about 3 people left and you will notice your matchmaking gets harder and harder. Because based on that matchmaking system, you're a god. Playing this game solo is the worst gaming experience out of any game I've tried and I've been gaming for over 20 years. Something needs to give soon. You guys might hate me. You guys might think I'm being an Apex hater, but I actually agree with this very much. I agree and I disagree to some extent. Now, what he said was right. You know, Respawn doesn't use a matchmaking system that just picks up your overall KD or your overall, you know, rating. Respawn goes off of how you've been recently playing in Apex to match you up with similarly skilled players. So let's say you have 10 insane games. Most likely your future games will be very difficult because Respawn can sense that, you know, he's playing really good right now. Let's give him some good players to play against. But if you're playing really bad, most likely your matchmaking will be a little bit easier and the lobbies won't be as difficult. So it can be very very frustrating guys as an apex player when you just want to have a good time you want to drop some high kills you want to really pop off in pubs and because you're playing good your lobbies keep getting more difficult and more difficult simply because you are playing good and this actually affects solo players even more because if you have a full team if you're squatted up and you have a full three stack to play pubs with then most likely even if you aren't playing that good or even if the lobbies are very difficult because you have two solid teammates as well you won't really see the effects of the matchmaking as much you know because you have two teammates you're in a discord call together or a playstation or xbox party so you could just talk and that team coordination kind of helps you just naturally play better and play more confidently because you have two squad members who know what they're doing but if you're solo queuing in this game, right, and you keep, you know, getting bad teammates, let's say, but you yourself are playing very good. So respawn senses that, you know, this guy is playing good, let's up the ante on his matches, but you have two randoms who aren't up at your skill level and you're solo queuing. That will be a very frustrating experience. It isn't fun in Apex when you're solo queuing, you have bad teammates and the enemies just seem to be masters and preds. They have TSM and 100 Thieves and NRG in their names. It can be a very frustrating and just overall not fun experience as a solo player. Not to mention, most times if those random players die, they'll just leave the game. So now you're forced to continue this game playing by yourself against 3 stacks in the lobby. Every single time I've played Apex as a solo player, I've had that very same experience. I jump into a game, my two teammates die, they leave, and I'm left to fend for myself in this sweaty, cracked lobby with masters and preds. Now with that said, how does matchmaking in Apex really work? Because we don't have like a full in-depth explanation, most of you guys probably don't even know what type of matchmaking Respawn uses. Well, the guy who made that Reddit post was actually onto something, because Respawn does use a very volatile matchmaking system. In 
the sense that they don't look at your overall KD, your overall rating, your overall like skill level. They look at your most recent performance. So most likely if you first jump into a game like your first game of the day, that might be the easiest game you play for the entire session. And as you continue to play, let's say you just continue to, you know, your aim becomes better, you get more kills, you stay alive longer and your skill just looks really good in that playing session then most likely your lobbies will continue to become more difficult as time progresses but if you just continue to play worse and your aim deteriorates you have no kills you always die off drop then your lobbies would become easier so matchmaking in apex works in that sense the better you play the more difficult your lobbies the worse you play the easier your lobbies and response whole philosophy on matchmaking guys is to make it not too easy but also not too fun. They don't want everybody to just hop into Apex and roll through every single lobby, drop 20 kills every game, 4k damage because in their minds that's not a very fun experience and if players always did that, they wouldn't really be satisfied because the game is too easy. However, if every single game is sweaty, if every single game is like a, a Pret lobby, a uh, ALG's match, then players would then also be discouraged and stop playing the game because it's just way too difficult to play. And at the center of all this, all Respawn wants is for the players to have fun. This matchmaking system that Apex currently uses is meant for you and I to have fun in the game. So why is it that so many players, especially high skilled players as well as solo queue players, always complain about the matchmaking not being good, it being frustrating and just not really creating a fun experience. The reason I think that that's the case is because Apex matchmaking isn't really 100% designed for solo players, Apex on a whole isn't designed for solo players and also the matchmaking may not know how to place really skilled players as well. If you always play good in this game right, you most likely will have one good game out of 10 and the rest of those games would just be complete sweats, you know, be completely difficult, your teammates would be trash. Simply because your skill is really good, your skill level is so high, Respawn has a very small player pool to pull from when they're trying to give you good matchmaking which is why you may experience sweaty lobbies all the time if you play good in this game. Now as a solo player right this is even worse because you're playing by yourself you have randoms on your team. So not only are you in very sweaty lobbies with players who can rival your skill but you also have teammates that don't really understand you know how you want to play maybe they aren't the best teammates as well they leave after they die they don't ping stuff they don't tell you if an enemy is coming so it's just a very bad situation especially for solo players which is why i always say that respawn needs to bring apex solos i know you guys don't think that apex needs solos because apex is a game meant to be played with teammates but i think that respawn should not take away the option to play solos it could still be a game meant for a squad apex could still be a game meant for two or three players because it's a team-based game but they should still offer players the ability to play solo if they want to they shouldn't take away that option for example right there's so many legends in this game right now that just aren't viable in arenas arenas is a very you know specific type of game mode and you have to also play specific type of legends to really be effective in that mode but there are so many legends that just don't fit the criteria of really being useful in arenas. So if we apply the same logic that Respawn uses when talking about solos, Apex isn't meant for solos, every legend is not meant for solos, then we also have to apply that same knowledge to arenas. What's the difference? So I personally think that Respawn needs to do something about the matchmaking in Season 14. The games have been fun. It's still a very fun game of course at the core, but the matchmaking just needs some improvements. It needs more factors when taking into consideration where to place a player. I also think that solo players should not be going up against 3 stacks. If you are a solo player, no matter what your skill is, you should not be going up to 3 stacks. Respawn should try to prevent that as much as possible. And of course that would be more difficult to do because it's more difficult to find you know solo queue players to fill up an entire lobby. So it might be easier to just have like you know a couple 3 stacks, a couple solo players. But to me it just isn't fair. From a balance standpoint it just isn't fair that a solo player could queue into a game with 2 bad randoms and they have to come across full 3 stacks. All of them are Preds or Masters, 20 kill badges, 4k badges. And and you are expected to have fun in that scenario. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't really 
that system needs to be upgraded updated changed it needs to be looked at i would say moving forward you know because i've seen way too many tweets way too many complaints about the matchmaking in the season and again if you aren't a very skilled player in this game and you don't solo queue that much then most likely you will not even understand what i'm talking about because it's a completely different game when you're solo queuing in a very high sbmm lobby skill based matchmaking lobby of course and you're playing with a team in a very average lobby those are two very different run experiences to be honest i've actually found that you know ranked up until diamond like i could get into some diamond lobbies and ranked and those lobbies are still easier than my pubs which to me makes no sense i think i made my opinion on this topic very clear i think a respawn needs to look at the matchmaking especially for solo players high skilled players and solo players they need to look at how to best give those players the best lobbies because it isn't fun when every single lobby is a ALG's finals. It just isn't a fun experience. And this matchmaking is supposed to be all about providing fun to players. So if it isn't fun, something isn't working. But that's just my thoughts on it, guys. Again, leave your thoughts down below. I read every single comment. And with that said, I'll see you in some more Apex. Till next time.